So for this week's vlog, um, I thought instead of doing kind of like the daily updates, I would do similar to what I did a couple weeks ago, which is where I just compile videos from my physio sessions, the exercises I've been doing, some of the treatment, um, sort of into one video with a voiceover as I explain <coughs> the exercises and stuff like that. Um, it's been a pretty rough week because the pain has been pretty high and often in the sessions we weren't able to sort of complete the exercises we'd set out to do, often had to cut short. Um, I haven't been going in the pool and um, my physio said we're going to start doing that again because it's less intense and it might help um, manage the pain a bit more. So yeah, it's been frustrating. Um, and yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to show you... Um, the exercises I did, I didn't film my warm up, which was the arm bike again, like I did in in um, earlier vlog, and also some like a band warm up. So just with resistance bands, doing uh, rows like this, external rotation, and um, sort of like pulses. Um, I didn't film that. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this. You can see the sort of strengthening I've been doing. It's been a lot more intense way more intense than what I was doing before which kind of explains the increase in pain but you know I still want to be able to do these things with like minimal to no pain it's, it's frustrating to feel like we're hitting a wall most sessions but you know gotta keep a head up and find solutions around it and just be more patient it might be that it was just kind of too much of an increase too soon so yeah hope you enjoy first exercise after the warm-up is just dropping a tennis ball by kind of turning my wrist downwards. Um, this was good test of coordination as well. I did it both sides, uh, three sets of 10 reps. This was quite difficult. So it's a cable, but it works with momentum. So however much you pull back, it will sort of um, recoil with the same strength. So this is like, pulling it out and then controlling the um, return back to a bent position. So with the same cable, just doing external rotation. So you can see better in this video, I'm like pulling um, to the side and then I sort of have to control um, how quickly my arm goes back inwards. And um, this one in the previous exercise really pulled on the nerve quite a lot. I think this was definitely one of the most um, irritating ones for the nerve even though it works the shoulder blades, um, rotator cuff and all of that. So the one before was external rotation and this is internal rotation. Um, and for all these exercises, I did three sets of 10 on each arm, because I think it's important to keep working the left arm even though it's not injured, um, just to avoid getting like, you know, weak on that side. Right, then this is an exercise where I'm using a sponge ball on top of a uh, on top of a Swiss ball and trying to control movement up and down the wall. Um, having one ball over the other makes it kind of um, more straining on the arm. And this one was actually quite a nice exercise. It didn't hurt. Uh, and I did three sets of ten once again. This one, this is with just a normal band and handle. And as you can see, I'm basically imitating a forehand motion. Um, this was kind of working with the wrist under resistance um, and it didn't really hurt. So that was quite nice to do. Um, and also makes me feel, you know, closer to tennis. Every exercise that resembles tennis is nice. Um, similarly, similarly here, I'm using like a this is a very light baseball bat just to do like serve swings. This was the first time in literal months that I did this sort of movement, which was kind of fun. Um, but I didn't do too many reps because I didn't want to tie the nerve out. I did three sets of 15. And this is me and the physio, he's not in the video, but he's throwing me like a, a plyo ball. I think it was um, like one kilo, very light, but just throwing it back and forth, getting used to catching, decelerating, uh, flicking the wrist. So did three sets of 10 of those as well. This is very simple, just throwing a tennis ball against the wall. Um, yeah, just did multiple sets of five. Okay, 
this was difficult. This was with the ski erg machine, which is like a rowing machine, but with a more skiing motion. I didn't use my legs because I just had the hip injection, but I'm like pulling down on the resistance, making sure that my wrist does full range of motion. And I did one kilometer on that, which was like 10 minutes and really intensive. And then this is just treatment. It's electromagnetic vibrations. So it's Monday, I just had my first physio session of the week and normally that's the best session because I've had a rest over the weekend and pain-wise it's better but um, today it was really painful, couldn't really do many of the exercises so the session was shorter, we did more treatment um, and it's just very frustrating like you know when you get a bit of upward momentum and then boom the pain is back. I drove quite a lot over the weekend, I think that might have... Um, maybe irritated the nerve but you know <laughs> driving isn't exactly intense exercise it's just so frustrating to feel like you make some steps forward and then you sort of go back um but I mean I'm still still gonna keep going with the sessions and, and kind of taking each day at a time without trying to I guess like catastrophize too much but yeah it's just it's exhausting and you know demoralizing a lot of the time